my channel. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have an official box to unbox today. What this is supposed to be is a diamond painting, and it's from AliExpress. I have not been ordering diamond paintings from AliExpress, full-on diamond paintings. I've been doing, you know, accessories, because, you know, you really can't fail too hard at those when producing them because I just got tired of the bad stuff I was getting but I heard of, from about this company all over the place so I, I had to give it a try and just to see what the hype is about so this diamond painting is from a store called Hankins painting store on Aliexpress like I said it is a 40 by 30 and it's supposed to have special shapes with it. I'm going to go ahead and open it and see if that's in fact what it is. Now don't be shocked, but <laughs> I've had this sitting here for quite some time. I've had other stuff going on. I ordered this October 13th of 2019. Yes, that long ago already I love the box Wow that's a nice spiffy box there uh, they took 10 days to ship it out and then I received it a week later so it only took 17 days for me to receive this after placing my order I'm trying to figure out how to open the box I'm thinking it's opening from the side but it opens just like any other box the box came perfect you know, with all the problems I've been having with the Postal Service, I am surprised. So before I even look in here, let's show you what it looks like inside. Looks good to me. Let's pull it out. Box is empty. I've got this habit of keeping boxes and I've got to stop. So I, I'm going to not keep the box as much as I want to keep that pretty black box. Okay, this is what the image is supposed to look like right here. And they've got this icky yellow tape. I do not like this tape. It's extremely, it leaves a lot of residue behind. So yeah, we know it's strong, but uh, I don't think that's something you really want to put on a diamond painting. It's hard to get off. All right, it didn't all come off. Yeah. I'm afraid it's going to rip the cover. Okay, so we do have a lot of sticky left behind. Uh, let's look at this. Okay, we've got toolkit. Almost kind of resembles Diamond Art Club a little bit. Got your baggies, blue pen, a three placer. They give you a plastic pair of tweezers, a squishy, a tray, and two heart wax. I mean, almost identical to what Diamond Art Club does. They use their frosted bags with their emblems on it, with their logo on it. And they don't give you plastic tweezers for a round. So that is quite interesting. Can't reuse this bag. It's got a big hole in the butt. But, yeah. Even the heart wax. Very interesting. Alright. So, uh, they send you instructions on how to diamond paint. And... Um, uh, they want you to become part of their Diamond Painting Club VIP. They pick 10 lucky members and send a super free surprise gift. <laughs> That's cute. Um, okay. Next. Look at the canvas. Oh, I don't like this sticky on it. It's a pretty canvas. I mean, they put some nice decorate, decorative corners on it. And 
it's cute. Although, I thought I was getting a 30 by 40 and, you know, drilling area, but this is obviously a 30 by 40 canvas. Let me flatten this real quick, and then I'm going to measure it because I want to know the actual size I actually got. Hard to do when there's that. I can just use my powder tool which I love so much. I will link this down below. It is on my Amazon page, but um, I'm gonna link it just for quick access to it. These, this stuff is wonderful. I mean, it's just powder, but the tool is great for just putting that slight amount on that you need, especially on a diamond painting, because you don't want too much powder because it will take away the adhesive on your your st sticking area, and you don't want that. I've used this a lot. Okay, so I now have a non-sticky canvas. Open up the other end. Make sure I don't have any powder on my hands. And this apparently is poured glue. It's very sticky. It doesn't act like poured glue, though. It doesn't have those the resemblances on the canvas like you would get with poured... Yeah, I guess it does. Okay, so if this is poured glue. Here's the drilling field. Those symbols look really nice. Easy to read. I mean, there are not a lot of, of colors in this. There are 13 uh, regular colors and then the three special shapes. So, this will be something I can actually do pretty quickly. Okay, now it's flat, except for that little wrinkle right there. And let me get my handy dandy measuring tool. We've got a drilling area. Well, I'm it's I'm actually going a little further out from the drilling area because it's got this line here which extends yeah a few millimeters beyond the drilling area. I'm just gonna count that. And we've got a length of almost 32 and a width of 21 and a half. So 21 and a half by almost 33. That's not 40 by 30. <laughs> Normally on Am on um, AliExpress, when they give you a size, it is the drilling area. Uh, I don't know if it's because this is a special drill that they just give you the wrong size, but a lot of the times when I get special drill paintings, they're giving you the size of the canvas, not the, the size of the image. So, yeah, but this has got a lot of uh, color blocking, which I that's one of the reasons why I picked this image. Um, I thought it was pretty cute. It's got a little angel on the back of a deer. Uh, the only thing is this, the image actually shows the little girl with her eyes closed. And this is kind of creepy <laughs> because it's got these, eyes like this once it's drilled it won't be so creepy but they're definitely not gonna look like they're closed eyes it's gonna look like they're wide open black beady eyes I could have got I should uh, you know I could have gotten it bigger they did have three different sizes um, but this cost seven dollars and 27 cents for this size so I just wanted to try them out and that's what I am doing let's look at these drills shall we All right, so on here, it has a number, but okay, there it is, 6178-1, and they have it handwritten on here, 6178-1, so looks like they might do things a little different. Uh, 
It doesn't tell you how many you get. There's no inventory. And this is not flattening. It's not. There we go. Had a big air pocket in there. Okay, so 3841 is number 12. 775 is 11. Uh, well, they're in order, so let's see. Let's just kind of do these in order and see if we've got all our colors. There's not a lot, so I'm just going to do it real quick while I am chatting with you. And 738 is the color of the deer. It looks like they gave me plenty of drills for that. There are four bags. And then the uh, background is 5200, as you can see. Three huge bags of that. Three special shapes. 436. Okay. So we have 310, 413. Oh, okay, that's two colors. 413, 414, 434, 436, 437, 597, 728, 7. Ugh, I did it again. Two bags of 738, and then two bags of 739, 775, 3841, and then the 5200. And here we have handwritten that this is number 14, this is 15, and this is 16. So A, B, and D are the special shapes. So we're gonna have, let's see, where are we gonna put them? Well, let's show you what they look like. There's this blue gem, and then we've got the silvery half pearl and the sliver so the sliver is d and that is going to hang from the antlers here there's only three of them <clears throat> and then uh, b is the silvery crystal half pearl thing and that goes uh on the deer. So the deer's spots are the B and then A is enough is this blue pearl thing. Oval. It's an oval pearl kind of thing. And there are four of them that hang from the antlers as well. Everything else is regular drills, but you know, I think it's really interesting when they mix special drills like this on a regular diamond painting. Um you don't see that very often. And most of the time with special drills, you don't get a full drill. And this is definitely a full drill. So everything looks good. Uh, my only complaint, I guess, was the stickiness of the tape that was on the outside. Um, I do need to get this flattened because, you know, it was in that box all these months, sitting there waiting to be uh, shown and looked at. And then... Um, who knows how long it'll be before this video goes up. <laughs> it might be October. Nah, I don't think it'll wait that long. But anyway, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I will know more of the quality once I do the diamond painting. I Well, the other disappointment was the fact that they said it was a 40 by 30 and it was actually not that big. Because when I want a 40 by 30... I'm thinking I want one, the diamond painting area to be this width here and this length here of this entire canvas. And it does disappoint me when, you know, it's like they count the margins as part of the canvas size of what you're buying. So let me know, have you ordered from Hankins before? And what was your experience with them? Uh, I'm just kind of, trying to figure out what the hype is is you know is it the fact that do they do these special drills on all their diamond paintings or 
Is it just their customer service, their drill quality, or their canvas quality? What is it that makes them stand out to you? Um, let me know down below in the comment section. I really want to hear from you. And please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me a lot, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun diamond painting, and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you.